My name is Blazonary. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazer here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a full room tour. Everything that's inside my room, from the couch area, to my bedroom area, to where my office area kinda is. Everything that's on the shelves, every part of my room, all the cool things that I have on display. And this is gonna be a sick one. I know you guys have been requesting this for such a long time now, and I'm finally ready to show it off. It's been a couple months since I've been making it. We moved in about five months ago, and then it took so long because I was traveling and everything. I had to build up all the Ikea furniture. I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this video because it is my most highly requested video that I have like of all time, especially now that the room's done. Let's just get into it. All right, so I'm gonna give you an overview of what my room actually looks like. It is a very nice and large space that my parents did give me. It's the third floor of my house, and I'm super grateful for it because not a lot of people have a big room like this. I'm able to utilize this space very nicely because of my YouTuber life, I guess. I have like a very nice area for filming, a nice camera equipment set up where I stock my merch and all that. So here's a quick overlook of my room. My room starts with like the living room area that I call it, and then it's the kitchen area. Technically, like this is just like hypothetical. Got the closets and stuff, display, shoes. Over here, I've got all my merchandise that I have and camera gear. This is kind of like my office, my bedroom, where my pet is, and then just kind of like the living space right here. So as soon as you walk up into my room, it's a very nice little long flight of stairs and I do plan on adding some pictures and stuff like that along the walls here. It's just I didn't really want to do that yet. I did want to give you guys a little progress update, maybe a couple months to see what the room looks like then because I'm sure it will look different. But for the most part, the room is finalized. When you walk up right here, you do have my pictures. This is a Supreme. For the shout out to those of the original room tour, this is Jessica right here. I know this is David Sims, but I call her it Jessica. And then this is my pop-up in New York. And then over here, just the Air Mag pictures. This is my mirror. This is the only like full standing mirror that I do have. And then my piano, which I do play from time to time. I'm not a serious piano player. I just kind of mess around on it for fun. Piano. So as we move into the right side of my room, you have my little kitchen area, what I like to call here. I bought this mini fridge at Lowe's for like a hundred bucks, and it's really cool for when I have like a little kickbacks and everything. I have a couple people over, stock up on the food right here. I do make cereal because I do have milk, so I got all like plastic utensil stuff and everything like that, all disposable, so I never really have to go run down, wash a bowl or anything, which is super helpful. In here, there's nothing special at all. This is just a little attic space that I do have, but this is by far my favorite one. The most spacious one, and I can actually use it. Like, I have my desk right here, like packages and stuff that I might have to ship or open, crep protect stand, just some hardware, and a lot of storage for my shoe boxes. I don't throw out my shoe boxes, but it's just good to always have them in case you ever want to sell them. Or stuff like bags from when I bought stuff, shoe cleaner, uh, just little accessories that I just have in here. Nothing too crazy. Then this is my secondary closet. It's the closet that I have that's very essential. So for example, you have some basic tees right here, some white t-shirts, just like little graphic stuff. Nothing like Supreme, Babe, Off-White, none of that hype stuff. This is just if I was going to school or something. And I also have all of my merchandise right here as well. So I thought that'd be cool to show it on display. This is my Louis Vuitton duffel that I use for traveling that I got at Laced Up Palisades when I did my pop-up there. It's my sock and underwear drawer. And then I also have some very basic shoes like my Superstars, Gucci Slides, H&M stuff, dress shoes, Jordans that I don't wear anymore, Sperry's, loafers, whatever. And then really cool, I like these. These are custom that a fan gave me. So I really do dig those and I do wear them pretty often. Over here, this is also kind of my secondary display case because all that is really over there, the hype stuff and everything like that. So I figured I'd keep one room basic and one room like, damn! So up here is my uh, Christmas crunch that a fan gave me some stuff from Kip's treats like the milk bottle the cereal the napkins all that cool stuff 
And then down here is my Coca-Cola Bape Frisbee. Over here is my little Bape, uh, Bape Play mini figurine with a Palace hat. Some more Palace accessories. I actually don't really mess with Palace, like maybe a lot of people think I would. I mainly do like Supreme and Bape. And then over here, these are all my really cool Pokemon cards that I actually have had like when, you know, when I was little. So these are my favorite cards right here. All my EXs, my special Xs and stuff like that. And then like some first editions, some Japanese old stuff. A friend actually gave me that Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Game Boy Color. Like this is kind of like the retro shelf with like the Minecraft bear brick. If you go down a bit, this is my money cap, my Play-Doh. I used to be super into this book called Bakuman and I have all the editions. As you guys may know too, I'm a huge Naruto fan. And that's my first Pokemon card right there. If you go down a little bit, you got a signed picture of Brad Hall, which everybody asked me, like, what is that? And then just some in and out stuff when I went. Some more sneaker books. And down there is my holy grail of crep stuff. So shout out to Crep Protect. I really do mess with it. It's actually super dope. And then over here, you just have my MCM backpack just chilling right there. My out of time license plate, Back to the Future custom thing. And then if you look on that closet right there, I just have a, I, you know, it's a nice picture right here. It's a nice picture from a magazine. And then I'm also giving away these Air Jordan 1 Royals. So all you have to do is click the link down below in the description to enter to win these. This is just a promo pair that the store Sneaker 1 gave me. And uh, you can win any size you want. You literally just have to subscribe to my channel. So click down below in the link in the description. And that's it. So moving along over here, I actually have a whole Supreme Collection video coming. So I'm not really gonna interview, or I'm not really gonna showcase much of this stuff right here. You just kind of get a quick glimpse of all the stuff that I do have that is Supreme. I do have quite a lot of accessories and a lot of nifty stuff that I definitely would show you guys in another video. So Supreme Collection video is coming soon, along with like Vape, Designer Collection, all that cool stuff. That's a separate video. This is what I like to call my hype closet, because it's got stuff like Kanye merch, it's got stuff from Kith, Bape, Supreme over here. You got my Bape shorts, off-white. And then this is my jeans drawer. So I'm an OCD freak and I have them organized by light to dark. So you got the lighter jeans and the darker ones coming over here. And then it ends with some black jeans, some shorts, like bathing suits, just like sweat shorts. And then down here, just some more uh, like different colored shorts. I really don't wear shorts as much as I'd like to. I'm more of a jeans kind of person. Still deciding on what should go in there. I'll eventually get some more clothes. This is a mirror that I spray painted uh, cause it used to be brown and I've had it since I was like, like five. Shout out to Sebastian, no injustice. Thank you guys for helping me film this video. I do appreciate it. So this is school fan art that I've gotten. And these are actually so cool that I actually had to put them away from the fan art. I still appreciate every piece of fan art you guys do send me, but this kind of matches the vibe of this area. So like the Nike mags, Nike mags, and then the bape right there. So shout out to you guys, I do appreciate that stuff. Coming along over here, this is where I keep most of my hype sneakers, and if you guys can notice, it is all Adidas. So I've got my custom Yeezys, my special My Adidas Ultra Boost, some 750s, Yeezys, Yeezys, Ultra Boost, Rare Ultra Boosts, custom Ultra Boosts that I'm still working on, Anikis, NMDs, that's really it for the sneaker shelf. Um, this is just my laundry bin, nothing too crazy. So this is in front of my couch. This is where I have, you know, my Xbox games, my old N64 and NES games. And you got PS2, Atari 2600. You've got NES, SNES, and Genesis, my Wii, which I actually do play the most out of all these systems because I really f with that Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. Brawl when friends are over. And then we got some N64. This is just a very basic flat screen TV. It's probably like 300 bucks, nothing crazy. I do have speakers right here and here, and along with this really cool RGB uh, like light fixture, so I can change the colors to whatever I want. Normally I keep it on blue, or like purple, something like that. I like purple the best, that is my favorite color. And if you step over here, you've got my Nike mag box. And then you just got this like really cool strobe thing, once again, with the blue purple theme. I can change this to whatever I want, but I do like this mode the best and the slowest. Over here on my Nike mags, my most prized possession, along with my 100k silver button. So shout out to you guys, that would have never been possible if you guys never, you know, subscribed, watch my videos, all that cool stuff. Down here, you've just got some more mag memorabilia. So this is from Grail Gallery. Then you have my hoverboard, some 1985 dead stock shoes. They're nothing really special. It's just they're from 1985, so I figured I'd put them in there. A fan actually gave me this, this, and this, but I did buy this. 
Uh, so this is the newspaper, the Pepsi Perfect that did come back when the movie was being done. And then a Back to the Future collector car. And then my Nike Supreme Air Force Ones, which don't really get as much love as they used to because now I'm still kind of pro Adidas. So that's the glass case and that is by far my most prized possession probably in the whole room besides like other stuff like Supreme and everything. So coming along to this side of the room, this is kind of my camera equipment. So you've got stuff from like my GoPro bag, my camera bag, my DJI, my DJI uh, drone, my controller for it, just some tripods, lenses for my camera. And then down here is what I like to call a charging station, I guess, because you charge my kit thing right here, camera batteries, GoPro batteries, my Snapchat spectacles, which are super dope and they were, uh, like somebody actually got me these while they were in LA, but I did buy them. This is where I have my merch, so it is organized in a small, medium, large, and XL. So that's where I primarily do all my merch stuff. I do handle it kind of right in this area. I pack and ship all the orders myself at the office space that I like to call it, the, like my little office, whatever. So what I have here is a Samsung 4K monitor with an MSI gaming laptop. This was like 1500 bucks on Black Friday, and this was like 150 bucks on Black Friday. I think this is like 2000 and this is like 700 I think. It's a really nice monitor, and you know, Black Friday deals, got a cop. So this is what I edit all my videos on. Then right here, I'll give you a little test. This is where I print my labels. Justice, here's a lint roller. And then over here is the stuff that I used to ship the hoodies in. So just very organized space. This is my desktop that I don't really use anymore now that I have the laptop. And if you look in these drawers, it's like office supplies. You have some more shipping stuff. And then just some old like uh, cables and stuff that I actually use from time to time. Over here is the fan art wall. So I'm do I am asking you guys to send some fan art. I want to complete this entire wall with all your pictures and everything. So my PO box is on the screen right now. You can check that out. Here is where I have like my little guy named Yeezus, which is actually a girl I just found out. So this is my lizard Yeezus, and uh, she's pretty cool. She's like just it. it's a water dragon. You guys see her on the snap a lot. Shot to Jesus. So this is my dresser. I honestly don't really have many, many things in here. Just like some like clothes, like pajama pants, stuff like that. There's nothing really going on in there. So this is my bed right here. I've got my two nightstands, one right there, and then one right there. This is kind of where I charge my phone at night. This is where I charge my Apple Watch that I never really wear. Stuff that I like put in my pockets on the day to day. And that's kind of that. This is gonna eventually go in my car. All right, so lastly, over here, this is where I kind of keep my day to day shoes that I wear. So I always wear my white Ultra Boost. I've actually trashed these two pairs and I have another pair that I'm still keeping on ice. And then these are just like friend shoes that they come over. So like this is Sebastian's, Justice, Noah. And I just got to plant some pictures right here. And then to finish off the room, we're gonna start back at square one. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, please make sure you smash that like button. Let's get this video to 4,000 likes and leave a comment down below on what you thought of my room. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tour. I know it took a really long time to set up, but I'm really glad it's all done. My name's Blazonary. Thank you for watching Blazonary Cribs. Have a great night, Dave, whenever you're watching. Please, I'm out. Peace.